The region's growth is projected to rebound to 7.3% this year and 5.3% in 2022 as COVID-19 is brought under control, vaccines are rolled out and global demand recovers. Recovery patterns won't be uniform across the region, however. Growth will be strongest this year in East Asia and South Asia, driven by the region's two giants, the People's Republic of China and India. In contrast, growth will be more moderate this year in Southeast Asia, Central Asia and the Pacific. Some countries are challenged by domestic outbreaks and weak tourism. The biggest risk to recover is still the pandemic. New outbreaks continue, in part due to new variants, and many Asian economies face challenges in procuring and administering vaccines. Other risks include tensions between the US and the PRC, production bottlenecks that could raise prices and rising US interest rate that could tighten financial conditions. Lastly, we worry about long-term scarring from the pandemic. This can result from prolonged unemployment and business closures, insufficient investment, and long-term effects of school closures. The pandemic has severely disrupted education. School closures have lasted more than a year in some economies. Schools are using remote learning, but many students have limited access to computers and the internet. This is leading to significant learning losses, almost a third of a year's learning on average for Asian students. This will reduce future productivity and earnings of today's students. The present value of their lifetime earning losses at up to $1.25 trillion, or 5.4% of the region's GDP in 2020. 